Let's assume that we have to streamline Unico Healthcare Center, which currently runs their daily operation manually. A lot of patients come in for consultation. There are pathology labs which are functioning. Surgeries are taking place simultaneously, and all of this data needs to be captured in a systematic way so that all activities can function smoothly. Let's see how ERP Next will help us streamline this process. A medical department is a division of the medical staff of a hospital for the provision of a specified type of medical diagnosis or treatment. In ERP Next, for each unit or department in your healthcare facility, we can create a medical department. We can navigate to the medical department from the awesome bar. Here, we can view all the predefined medical departments. To create a new record, click on Add Medical Department and type the name of the department in the field. Once done, click on Save. In ERP Next, we can map our facility infrastructure and manage appointment scheduling, billing, etc. by creating a service unit. As a prerequisite, we will have to create a healthcare service unit type let's click on add healthcare service unit type to create a new record add opd rooms in service unit type and click the allow appointments checkbox if required further tick allow overlap to allow booking multiple appointments at the same time we can even tick the inpatient occupancy checkbox if this service unit type represents a facility like operation theater or ward bed that allows occupancy by patients if the usage of service unit type needs to be billed separately we can tick the is billable checkbox next we can move on to creating a healthcare service unit in our system we can navigate to the healthcare service unit from the awesome bar here we can see healthcare service unit already created and add a new one by clicking on the add healthcare service unit button when we open the document we can first name this service unit for example let's name this physiotherapy If we want to add more service units under this one we can select the is group checkbox Next select the healthcare service unit type we just created The configurations such as allow appointment and allow overlap or inpatient occupancy and is billable are auto fetched from the healthcare service unit type we created If allow overlap is checked you can set the service unit capacity which denotes the number of concurrent appointments allowed to be scheduled in that unit else if inpatient occupancy is checked the occupancy status is auto fetched select the warehouse if the type is linked to an item like pharmacy lastly we can add a parent service unit if applicable A healthcare schedule will help you configure the availability of healthcare practitioners. Healthcare practitioners are the doctors, nurses, ward boys, lab technicians, etc., who are serving the hospital unit in one way or another. We can find practitioner schedule by navigating to the practitioner schedule under the master section. Here, we can see practitioner schedule already created and add a new one by clicking on the add practitioner schedule first we will enter a schedule name for example let's type team 1 schedule after naming the schedule click on the add time slots button to create time slots for each day of the week we select the day of the week say monday then select the working hours for that particular day Lastly, 
select the duration for each appointment. After adding all these details, click on Add Time Slots. This will help generate all the appointment slots for the day selected. Similarly, we can add time slots for all other days of the week. Once you've added all your necessary details, you can click on save. Each practitioner needs to have a unique ID. This can be set as default via naming series. We will need to specify the practitioner's basic details like name, gender and contact details. Moving on to employee and user details. If the practitioner is defined as an employee in the system, we can select an employee ID which will automatically fetch the user email ID. Next, we can define the medical department the practitioner belongs to and the name of the hospital is applicable. Next, we will add the appointment details. We will click on Add Row and select the schedule we just created and the healthcare service unit. Similarly, we can add multiple practitioner schedules as applicable. Moving forward, we can select the service items for consulting charges and set them in the outpatient consulting charge item and inpatient consulting charge item. We can set the consultation charges which are applicable to the practitioner. Lastly, we can also select an income account for a physician to book all the consultation charges into separate accounts. Once you've added all your necessary details, you can click on Save. Medical coding is required in many countries for regulatory compliance and many of the medical insurance companies manage eligibility and coverage based on medical code standards. We can explore the medical code standard by navigating from the awesome bar. Here, we can see any code standards already created and add a new one by clicking on the Add Medical Code Standard button here. Let's type the name of the new medical code standard and save it. Medical codes translate the documentation into standardized codes that let payers know things such as a patient diagnosis. To create a medical code, navigate to the medical code list. Select the medical code standard. Enter the code in the code field. Enter the standard description for the code and save it. Healthcare settings allows us to configure the features in the healthcare module as per our needs. Let's look at some basic settings here. In the healthcare service item section, we can select the default items to be used in invoicing of inpatient visits, outpatient consulting, and consumables used in clinical procedures. In the default account section, we can specify the default ledgers to be used for income and receivable in invoicing. The other settings will be explored as and when we move to the upcoming chapters. This brings us to the end of the first chapter in our healthcare management course. I hope this helped you understand how to set up ERP Next for healthcare providers. You can read more about ERP Next Healthcare on docs.erpnext.com. In the next chapter, we will discuss patient management. Thank you.